Hi, I'm Marcus Brubaker. I'm an assistant professor of computer science in the LaSalle School of Engineering at York University. And I'm here today to tell you a bit about computer science. Computer science is the study of computation. That is the study of things that we can compute mathematically or we can calculate. There are many different aspects to computer science. Uh, there's a very theoretical aspect where computer scientists are aiming to understand what kind of things are actually possible to compute. That's the more theoretical aspect of computer science. But another one is how we actually go about building or programming devices um, and computing devices that are now ubiquitous, right? How do we make them do the things we want them to do? This is the more engineering side of computer science. And it's focused on, you know, how do we build the software that runs things like phones and cameras and computers? And then there are still other aspects of computer science. For instance, how can we use computers to analyze large amounts of data to make those computers do more interesting things or to help uh, us as humans kind of understand that data better. For instance, my work focuses on how we build computing devices that can do more and more complex or intelligent things, um, specifically the area of artificial intelligence. There are many real world examples of computer science at work because computation has now become a central aspect of almost all aspects of our day-to-day our -day life. And it's becoming increasingly critical in um, areas of science and engineering as well. So computer science is what enables secure and efficient communications over services like WhatsApp and Zoom. It allows Google or Siri to understand what you're saying when you ask a question or try to dictate a text message to your friends. It makes it possible for your uh, phone to take beautiful photographs and even allows for the creation of new forms of art, uh, including things that we now take for granted like computer animated films and video games. Beyond those sorts of everyday things, it's also allowing scientists to analyze um, new and new forms of data and larger amounts of data to gain new insights and to make large advances in areas like biology, chemistry, physics, astronomy, medicine, and, and, and others. I'm passionate about computer science for a lot of reasons, um, but I think arguably the, 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 the main one is that I think the computer is probably one of the most important inventions in at least the past hundred years. Uh, and, and we're still only scratching the surface of what it can really do. Computation plays a critical role in, in now in almost every discipline in science. And as a computer scientist, it's really gratifying to see how the tools that, that, that uh, you know, we've developed and we've learned can help make advances in such a wide array of scientific areas. The idea of computation is even beginning to become a, a central part of our understanding of how the universe works, um, of how reality itself works, which I think is uh, really fascinating. I think students in computer science have the huge potential to have a positive impact on, on the world and, and the society around us. Um, as I've, I've mentioned already, you know, computation and, and computer science is underpinning so many huge aspects of, of the world around us and, and doing so in a positive and responsible way is, is an excellent path for students. Computer science is ubiquitous. I've mentioned several examples of already of it um, showing up in kind of our day to day life as well as showing up and becoming increasingly important in science. And, you know, as computer scientists, you get to choose how that technology is applied and, and where it's applied. So computer science is, I think, a field that kind of, you can think of it as somewhere landing between mathematics and engineering. And I think students that, that find themselves torn or drawn to both of those things would very much enjoy computer science as a program. You need to have a curiosity to fundamentally understand how things work, as well as a desire to build something new. You know, the mathematics or that, that curiosity helps us analyze and understand the problems that we face and in, in, in a computational way. But we also have uh, as a large component of the program, you know, actually building and designing and engineering those solutions. Projects that students um, can and often do work on um, run the gamut from things like building new applications for phones, maybe a new game, maybe a you know a, a new a new note taking application for yourself, um, or you know building websites. Uh, I know students have, for instance, built websites that help explore program requirements in new and interesting ways and visualize the way the pro flow of programs, for instance. Other things that students sometimes do is, you know, working on robotics, right? And building programming robots to, to play games or to do different types of tasks or to explore the world. It's all um, part of computer science. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've learned something about computer science today, and perhaps I'll see you someday in the classroom at York.